Ready for Tokyo, babe? Yes, thank you so much, Papa, for bringing <laughs> me and little Bean back mm -hmm. here in Tokyo. Guys, I've been craving for Japanese, authentic Japanese food since, I don't know, for months now. And Martin, he was like, you know what? We should go to Tokyo. We should. <laughs> so we decided to make a little like 24 hour vlog from Tokyo. Yeah. Just to show the stuff that we get into. Nothing's gonna be like super planned, but it's still gonna give people watching an idea of what to do, a little bit what the feeling is like when you're here in Tokyo. Whether if it's a layover or you're here only on a business trip, right. you only have a day to experience Tokyo city. Yeah. We got you. We got you. <laughs> so food, a little bit of sightseeing, yes. but also like we're becoming parents so we have a little new baby on the way down here so you can kind of like expect a little slow itinerary. Mm -hmm. I think people are gonna like that. It's our second time in Tokyo, Ava. Yeah, together. Together. How many times have you been here? I don't know. A lot. So we're here in Ginza. This is currently where we're staying. It's more quiet. That's why I love it here. Yeah, and it's close to a lot of cool places as mm -hmm. well. So I need to go to Don Quixote very quick because I want to buy a film camera. Maybe something to keep me warm. Great. Don Quixote. You got it. So w the last time we were here, remember, I asked you to take a photo of me. Yeah. When we found out that we're pregnant, yeah. we took a photo of this spot, and I want to redo it again. But I have a bigger <laughs> belly now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for those wondering, Avi is five months pregnant. This is probably one of our last international trips for a while. Yes, because once <laughs> once we have a little one, it it will take a while. Yeah, it will. And I'm also in that stage of my pregnancy where I don't get so nauseous yeah. or I vomit, knock on wood. I hope it won't happen here. I am taking you to an area where you haven't been. Cool. Yeah. So many good food options here in Japan. Yeah, I don't know about you. I feel like Japan is more lively at night. It is. It's one of those cities that's just, it doesn't matter if you're there in the daylight or in the nighttime. Still just as exciting. But if you are looking for something very cheap, a good place to eat, check out Yoshinoya. Ava showed that to me and it's like one of my favorite places to go and eat here in Japan right now. Go in there and spend less than 500 yen and come out super cool. So Japan, check it out. It's like a huge culture here in Japan for everything that's gamified. <laughs> Even when you're eating dinner, you can win games. You know, have you seen that? I'll show them that later. Well, you're lucky because we're in the central of the gaming yeah? area here in Tokyo. All right, let's go that's play some games. A lot of stairs in Tokyo. Yeah. How does that affect a pregnant woman? I mean, at least I'm working out. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you smile as much as when you're in Japan, Ava. Like this. Of course, what's not to be sad about? There's nothing to be sad about, you're right. I want to show you something. Oh. Okay, so here in Japan, you can still do your thing even if you have already checked out or waiting to check in in your right. next hotel. Right. They have this luggage coin lockers. That's amazing. In every station, uh. mostly in big stations. So what you do is like, put your uh, luggage yeah, in. you just put your luggage in and go around the city. That's great. Without even have to carry. I've been looking for that. Even in Oslo, it's so hard to do. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. So it's instead of a package or luggage counter, they have this instead. Ooh. Oh shit. Welcome to Namco. <laughs> Where are we now, Alvin? Welcome to Gamers Paradise. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is Namco. You know Namco? It's like I have Nintendo. never heard of Namco. Game, yeah. So this is like five floors wow. full of gaming things. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Uh oh. All right. Can we win stuff? Yeah, we can. If you want to do claw machines or if you want to buy some game stuff, 
Oh my god. Five floors of just gaming. <laughs> wow, it's huge. Mind blown by Japan. Love it here though. Only my second time, but it's like... So much to do. Whoa. I'm actually really good at this. Last time I won a teddy bear for Ava on the first try. Ooh, cute. Okay, we're gonna try to play a little game here. 100 yen. Yeah. 100 yen for one game. Okay. Uh, let's try. Never tried this before though. Do I get to play now? Yeah, that was crazy. But <laughs> I think it's perfect for anime lovers, right? Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. fascinating to me how such a culture exists because we don't have that yeah. where I'm from. Not even where you're from, actually. It's not actually common in most countries to have an area specifically for gaming gamers. Right? But I can anime. see there's a lot of people in there that are enjoying their time. Yeah. You know, like even live streaming what they're doing. Eleven degrees in Japan, January twenty eighth, two thousand four. Haven't experienced winter in a while, but I'm not gonna lie, I love it. I bought this jacket on like a thrift shop yesterday for three hundred forty three yen. That's like oh sorry, that's like less than a dollar. They also have a lot of secondhand toy stores here that are probably hard to find in other countries, but here. It's quite affordable, right? like some collector's item as well. And like some Legos for 7,000 yen, like a big Lego like this. Fascinating how yeah. they're so good at collecting the boxes. Like most cultural just tear them apart and throw them away. Well, I think I do that too. <laughs> a lot of PlayStation games, you know, some figurines, stuffed toys. So if you like to collect these things, maybe you will love it here in Akihabara. Oh, I had these when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. I love these. I know. Actually, Those are this candies, is right? this is one of the few things I've ever collected of it. Because oh, really? my mom used to buy me this every Saturday. Oh. That was like my Saturday candy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now we are heading to a restaurant here in Akihabara. It's quite popular. Okay. It's beef tonkatsu. You grill it just like what we did in Osaka. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go there. I am not so sure if there will be a line, but there might be because it's Sunday night, dinner time. Peak oh, hour. most likely then. Let's see. <laughs> well, we'll see first. There's a lot of other options. Another thing here in Akihabara is that you can find some restaurants with cosplayers. So you dine in with some women who dress up uh -huh. and cosplay. Yeah. Right. Mm. I've seen that. Yeah. Kind of an interesting I, fetish to have. I haven't been in one, but might be interesting. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Fly into the restaurant, and we actually have to wait across the street. The restaurant's over there. Pretty interesting. Okay, what time is it now? 5.51. 5.51? Yeah. Okay, let's see how long it's going to take mm -hmm. us. This is very normal here in Japan. If it's a very good restaurant, it usually has a line. Can't get away from that. Guys, we decided not to wait in line for that first restaurant yeah. because it was just too long. Yeah, some <laughs> said that it'll take an hour. Yeah. And if we have a baby, she doesn't want to get Right, because hungry. the baby keeps kicking when she's <laughs> hungry. So we went to this other place called uh, Miyazaki Atenea shop and it was really good. Chicken katsu. So it's right here. Highly recommend that if you're in this area. What is it like taking public transportation as a pregnant woman in Japan? Oh, well, it's nice that there are priority seats and then sometimes people will let you have their seat when they see that you're pregnant. It's hard when it's winter time because the boat is so thick mm. and you, they don't get to see it right away that I'm pregnant. Right, that's yeah. true, that's true. So you have to like open up, yeah. show up. 
So where are we going now after we've eaten such a delicious meal? Yeah, we're going to Shinjuku. Hi, we survived the metro. Holy shit. Just talking about it. How of a big undertaking it is to even understand that. But we did it. Freaking did it. You did it. You're amazing. Thank you, but you helped me guys as well. Also, you might have been seeing in this video, we've been using these. And it's like a Ikoka card. It's like a, works like a credit card. You top it up and then you can use it for a lot of things in Japan, like public transportation, taxis. Yeah. Can you pay for food for this yes. too? Yeah, oh, in, some, in some restaurants. So yeah. It makes it a little easier. Okay, so we are about to go to an alley. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure once we're there, we're very close by the way. Yeah. Once we're there, you're gonna recognize. Oh, I've been here before? No, you haven't. Ah. But you think I'm gonna recognize this from the, from the movies? Maybe. Or photos. Let's see. <laughs> Winter in Japan. I think I got caught off earlier. I was gonna say, I bought this jacket, thrift shopping, for 370 yen. It says prints on the back. Oh, by the way, we are in Shinjuku, and this is the street I was telling you about. Yeah. It's called Omoide Yokocho. Oh my god, Do check that out. This? I'm not sure if I've seen this before even. It's my first time to see it. So there's a lot of small bars, small restaurants, like Yakitori here. Oh, cool. Oh, that makes me hungry again. Ava, I'm so happy you brought me here. It's so cool. You're welcome. It's like so many restaurants everywhere. Yeah, People just it's mostly yakitori. Yeah, having beer. Look at that. <laughs> and we might have found one. Yeah, this place looks cool as well. It's cash only though, usually. Yeah. It looks super cool. <laughs> super cool. All right, we got lucky. Two seats opened up. Fun! That was I'm happy great. that you like it. Dude, that was amazing. And we met some Filipinos yeah. there. Had a great time. Filipinos from Canada. Yeah. It's so easy to connect with Filipinos it really when you're is, abroad. No? You just ask, are you Filipino? And then instant connection. I don't yeah, know. No, I don't know. It why. really is. It really is. They're like, yeah. <laughs> but you know, why are you asking me that? Yeah. But it's so fun. Like, you know, this is modern Tokyo. And then small step away. A hidden world yeah. and that's why we love you so much Tokyo we are gonna head home and then tomorrow you don't want to miss it we'll be right back Tokyo morning outfit check yes mama check <laughs> <laughs> oh I thrifted this amazing colorful sweater this yeah one. me too this uh, red coat yeah we've been thrifting also mm -hmm. this jacket thrifted oh, diba. who says style should be expensive no, oh. it doesn't have to be and it's also eco-friendly, sustainability. <laughs> We're pretty excited for today and the weather's looking amazing. Tokyo, let's do it. Tokyo. Yeah, you Yeah. You might lose it. I have it. Don't worry about it, love. <laughs> Just keeps on walking. How much I love coffee of it. And yes. This is the way it was prepared. It's like a very look like art form. It's my first time to see a machine like that. Same. Oh. Was it good? Yeah. yeah. Super good. What did you get? I just got. They had one blend that was more dark and one that was smooth. And mm -hmm. since it's a morning, I was like, ah, smooth sounds great. So I highly recommend this. Check it out. Northern Wood in Ginza. Where are we gonna eat? 
our favorite fast food chain, Yoshinoya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually eat yeah. here a lot. <laughs> yeah, because it's affordable yeah. and the food is good. They even have like good portion. Yeah, I, I really like it mm. as well. Okay guys, we're gonna show it to you right now. It's a food chain here. Here it is. It's so cool because you usually eat at the bar. Who makes me feel like there is nothing wrong? It's a picture perfect kind of world with you, world with you. It's a picture perfect. I am full. The baby is full for 1,271 yen. Like less than $10, I think. Yeah. For the two of us, mm -hmm. for breakfast. So if you are on a budget here in Japan, check out this food chain, Yoshinoya. Delicious. Recommended by Martin and Ate. And <laughs> baby. And the baby. <laughs> the baby is not part of the recommendation. <laughs> if she doesn't kick, it means she's happy. She's not kicking right now. I love breakfast here in Asia. Why? Because you can either have ramen for breakfast or bread or rice, noodles. Who makes the rules? Uh, that's true. You know? That's true. <laughs> When we're taking a train here in Tokyo, Av is usually the one that like is guiding us through everything. <laughs> but it's mostly correct. <laughs> I'll give you a couple of tips. So it's easy to find a restroom. It's easy to find places like this that symbolizes how to get there. Once you've done it a couple times, it's also easy to find a platform, but it's really hard to find public trash cans in Tokyo. So you need to be a little bit more aware than we are in Western cultures as to how you dispose of your trash. That's the only thing that's very different here. What's happening with the yeah, escalator? Yeah, so it's <laughs> like this and then straight. Yeah. And then it keeps going yeah. down again. <laughs> Whoa. I've never seen that in my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, it goes back. I love it. Escalator, walk a later. <laughs> It's so fascinating how it's so quiet here on the streets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's just so respectful, you know. It's the biggest city I've been to where you don't feel stressed about being there. It's like calm uh, all the time. Even if it's so busy, especially in the train station. Everybody's just quiet. Quiet, keeping yourself respectful. It's really nice. I think it's one of the big cities I could actually live in, I think, if I ever had really? to. Yeah. It's way different than a big city like New York or Manila. There's like always some like honking or yeah. there's just stuff going on. Well, here everybody it's everybody wants to get ahead of each other. Here yeah. they make way. Yeah, everybody's like, you know what? It's gonna take the time it's gonna take. Did I ever tell you you're the most pretty thing I've seen? Wow, <laughs> and our little girl. I think she's gonna overthrow me. You think? Mama, the most prettiest girl. Gonna <laughs> kick you out now. In four months. Yeah. <laughs> Here you can actually go in like a human carriage like that. That's fascinating. It'll take you around. Good job, look at that. And right over there is the Tokyo Tower. Oh shit. <laughs> Two in one. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, this is one of the places you have to visit if you have 24 hours in Tokyo. Photography time. Three, two, one. 
So when you enter the temple, it's super crowded, really hard to take photos there yeah. with no head. Yeah. <laughs> but only a few meters if you walk to your left, mm -hmm. you'll see this. This tower right here. Yeah. And and it's a courtyard. No one is here. And you can get a photo. If that matters to you to get a photo without any people, really nice right here. Yeah, let me get a photo of you. We'll publish this to our Patreon page. Oh, video. Getting it. Hi, Tokyo. Hi, Tokyo. You see, we didn't battle with anyone there to take we actually the shot. Didn't. I will admit, in reality, it actually took 15 minutes to just get that shot. <laughs> and when the fun part was when we actually filmed, we got it right away. Mm -hmm. We got lucky. It's a nice place here. What's nice about this place, it's also for free. Yeah. And if uh, you can also see some people wearing kimonos, very that you can rent. You can rent it. Rent or buy. Oh wow, this yeah. temple is probably the biggest one. Check this out. Wow. It's interesting. Over here, it's uh, looks like the locals are blessing themselves with the smoke. Put the smoke on yourself. Okay. Like this? That's how you do it? Oh, Ave, bless yourself. Wow. I've never done that before. And here's another form for blessing, I think. The mouth of the dragon. Isn't it the year of the dragon now? Yes, our it baby. Is. Our, our baby, baby is the year of the dragon, which in this Asian culture, which in a lot of Asian cultures actually a benefit. Let's sit with some dragon water, man. <laughs> Hi! Oh Ooh, what is it's this? It's a cream puff, Ooh. but matcha. <laughs> This is for oh my God. 510 yen. I use our coins because we have a lot of coins. We do. Yeah. It's one of the things in Japan. I only got one so we can share it and we don't get full. We try as much experience uh, store. It's just right behind the temple place. What's takoyaki? It's uh, like a Japanese pancake but salty with octopus. Takoyaki, how much for um, the six pieces? 600 yen for six pieces. Okay, so oh, oh. careful. Remember the last time you. Well, it was this. really warm, no? Mmm. I know. It's not that no? This is not that bad, actually. Okay. They yummy. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> This is one of the things you have to do when you get go to Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find a place. In Japan. It's like street food type of style, but so good. Is it super hot? No, this was okay, not really okay. hot. Okay, that's good. It's cold in Japan right now, so it uh, doesn't Perfect. stay hot that long. <laughs> we now met up with Yoshi and Kevin. Yeah. So Yoshi is local here from Tokyo. Our he's local Tokyo yeah, friend. Yeah, he's actually the one touring us around, who toured us five months ago. And he's also the first person who knew about our pregnancy. That's true. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Yoshi is a local living here in Tokyo. It's becoming our friend. It's the second time we're meeting him up. And we always get to like go to local places. Hey, Yoshi! Hey, 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 <laughs> Sorry for me. meeting you guys. Yeah, yeah. finally. And Kev is also here today. Hey, what's up? What's Kev? up, Kev? How are you doing? How are you doing? We got Sun Sun over there. Yeah. We got Soul over there. It's Triple Sun. Oh, yeah. We got Sun over here. The Sun <laughs> fam. Where it all started. <laughs> no. What's that? That's a special <laughs> fish, man. I've never seen that. I don't know oh. if I introduced you yet on the vlog. Oh. Hi, what's Kevin. Up? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> Good. Uh, I, last time I saw you, I think I was. Um, I've been up on the side of the mountain since uh, <laughs> since 2017. I think. <laughs> I think it, it's been it's been hard, you know. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. I, Martin was just saying hi to the, the the friends that I got to hang out with for a long time. I found them up in a creek in the in the mountains of Hawaii, you know. Like he told me I was his soulmate, and then you know all of a sudden he was gone. Like you know, like <laughs> Kevin, what brings you to Tokyo? Oh man, just trying to wash away the pain of. Uh, 
missing my boy Martin, you know. <laughs> uh, but probably to Tokyo. Just living life, you know. Gotta explore. Gotta yeah. Explore, gotta experience the world. You good. Know? Good. We're out here, uh, yeah. There's a lot of lot of stuff going on. Yeah. You like Tokyo? Yeah, I love, I love it. Love it. I love Tokyo. And now we are gonna go for lunch. So we leave that up to Yoshi, the local, to show us. A lot of Asian cultures. Those are little lucky numbers. Lucky numbers. Yeah. For example, in Hong Kong. You know, a license plate like that would go for a million dollars more than oh, the cars. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when people die, they would, um, they actually, the state will take it back, which is super insane, right? And I'm sure it'll go up with inflation. So you guys heading back? Yoshi I'm gonna sit nice in here with you, plate. Yoshi. Okay. I'm gonna sit here with you. He's gonna sit up here. This is luxury. Yeah. Ava, are you happy there? Look at, look at this. Yeah, uh, so yeah. happy. This is, yeah. this, is a, this is the highest, highest model of this car. Yeah? yeah. Wow. Nothing but the best from Yoshi. Yeah. Guys, if you want to see the last video we did with Yoshi, check out my Japan video from Kamakura. I'll link it up here. Amazing day. Yeah, he took us to this amazing place outside of Tokyo, which is like a surf town. We're coming in the summer month, really, really nice. Best place in Japan. Yeah. For sure. What's up? What's up? What's up, we're in um, business class. Yeah, we're just yeah, yeah, first class. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna start that's serving champagne roll. soon. <laughs> 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 Yoshi's bringing us to this one. Yeah. Ooh, look at here. Valentine's Day. Just, Ooh. Just, just rub it in. The 14. A single boy. Yeah. Yeah. Single. Hit him up. Making me feeling. Ooh. Ooh. Hit him up. Thank you, Yoshi. Yes. First, you can pick the ingredients. Oh wow. So we're gonna choose what type of meat we want to deep fry. Yeah. I thought you understand. Yeah. Guys, here they have ice cream machines. You can also get like a soft drink here. Oh, ginger ale, apple juice. And then here, it looks like you can make your own premium coffee. This is a cool place. Yeah, very cool, yeah. Super cool. And here, make your own sauce. Yeah, you choose whatever sauce you want. Okay. So, Ava, look yeah. at this. Yeah. So, what you do is... Show us. You put it in the butter first, then the panko. Okay. Yeah, it depends on how much you want. Uh -huh. Then are you dip it here. Yeah. That's it. The <laughs> easiest way to eat this one is you can dip first, then after you cook, you can put here. Ah, this is when it's finished. Yeah. So you, you make them. First. Apparently, you're not to put everything at once like I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you learn. So now I have a lot to eat at once. <laughs> the correct way to do it is to slowly introduce it over time. Yeah. It's fun, look at that! Yeah. Very fun, yeah? Do you know Gundam? No. Oh. You know Boltus Pipe? No. <laughs> I'm horrible, I don't okay, know anything. Okay. Well, you're about to see Gundam Man now. Oh, is it like an anime thing? Yeah. It's a robot. The subway you saw pass over us there. It's the first driverless subway in Japan, meaning fully autonomous. And it's so right cool. by the mall. What was the name of the mall again? Right now we're in Aqua City, Odaiba. Okay. The area is called Odaiba. Odaiba, and it's that beautiful view of the bridge of Tokyo. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Tokyo. It's a nice area where you can see the whole city of Tokyo. In one here. shot. So this is to our future daughter. When you see this, just know that you were here with us. We were traveling together when you were in mama's belly. Yeah, And we went to Tokyo. In Tokyo. <laughs> That's exciting, no? <laughs> we love you and can't wait to meet you. Mm -hmm.
nighttime. We're actually past the 24 hour mark. So if you watch this video and you're disappointed that I'm gonna make it more than 24 hours in Tokyo, I'm sorry. But we are now out again, this time with a new friend, another Japanese friend of us called Tat that Ave has met on tourism board trips around the world. Yeah. We're very excited. Whenever you hang out with locals in other countries, you always get a better experience. They always be able to show you some stuff that you as a tourist would never ever see yourself. So that's why we like it. And we always try to do that. Link up with people that are locals. And if you're new and like, if you're new to traveling, you don't really have any local friends around the world, try to reach out on Instagram, try to go to forums. That's usually how you can meet cool people. Or you can use sites like like, even if you go to something like Cluck or you go to Get Your Guide, for example, you can book like an, a session with photographers for like 40 to $50 and they'll take you around their local cities and really show you some of those hidden gems. I think it's one of the most affordable trips and it's really bang for your bucks because you get to go to those cool places. Check this out, by the way. Hello, sir. <laughs> wow, such a cool area. Yakitori! This I thought! What's up? By the way, my Woo! friend from Tokyo, he's a photographer, awesome. deep sky. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for showing us around Tokyo, Tat. Yeah, just for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> he said he will check if there's an availability. This is the best thing about having a local friend, a local friend here. I asked him, is so this full. place good? It's full. He, he it's was full. like, it's no, full? it's fine. Oh, it's full. Uh, <laughs> But there's so many bars here. Wow. Under the railway, there's a bar. Epic, over here too. What I like in Japan is that even though I can't read Japanese, I can point to the pictures. And that's how I'm kind of able to navigate. People tell me that it's hard to go to Japan as a tourist. All right. Usually also in Japan, the restaurants have two floors. Check this out. Whoa. Then it's a good. Inside a lemon box. <laughs> <laughs> that's I can really smell it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, but I'm so sorry you cannot have that. It's okay, one day. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one ordering for us. <laughs> Do you also notice that there's really yes. not much tourists here? No, this it's is mostly super local. local. Yeah. And I like that um, it's on the second floor, so you actually see the subway, the yes. trains yeah. coming in. It's quite yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, 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 you cannot eat that. I'm just smelling. <laughs> you can eat this. <laughs> you eat the wasabi. Oh, you can eat this wasabi. Tats, what are we going to do now? Uh, we are going to a bar. Oh. I always go to. It's Love so it. really low key. It's a local bar. Yeah, local bar. Nothing better than that. No English menu. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you know it's good. When there's no English menu. Actually, that's so true. Even wherever you are in the world, if there's no English menu, yeah, it's, it's a good only place. It's a local spot. Right? Tats, this is it. This is it. It's a bar. I always go to so low key. <laughs> I love it. Oh wow. Oh holy shit. Alva, how are you gonna go get down yeah. there? It's okay, there's a Yeah, throw. Yeah. Be careful. Oh I love this in Japan. If it's going down, it means it's good. If it's going up, don't even bother. Yeah. If it's underground, if the street is there and it's going down, trust me, it's good. I'm drinking juice. Grape juice. How is that whiskey? Seventeen-year-old whiskey. So the local Japanese bar we're at right now, he takes bourbon, whiskey in general, super serious. And you have this one, which I've never seen. Alcohol percentage 64.2%. <laughs> 
Oh no. Oh my god. It's fine. It should be fine. It, it should be fine. Like, whiskey is something that. What's the name? Baba. Uh, Blanton's. Blanton's whiskey. So we have it on rocks right here. I think this is part of. It should be part of your Tokyo itinerary. Go to a local whiskey bar. So we had Japanese whiskey earlier, now we're going with American. Mm. Cheers. 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 Cheers, kanpai, water. Kanpai. water for the lady. Oh wow. <laughs> thrift shopping. I think this is the best place to go thrift shopping and vintage shopping be, here in be. Tokyo. And this is actually our favorite um, vintage store, Second Street. Let's go. Let's go. We even bought a suitcase. Put you in that mood you like, spirit moving. I loosen you up, you don't care who cares. Look at you now, it's magic. Filling up glasses, looking like an actress. Hey, you just wanna listen to a classic, bouncing like a mattress. Man, I'm out of practice. Hey, sick of how slow just living spin. Hard to get right, me and limited. You just wanna go where the rhythm is. Be in the crowd uninhibited. 